Do beards make you look older? That is the ultimate question for a lot of people. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the answers from science and also my own personal experience around that question. And also, I have got an incredibly special offer for you. This isn't your typical promotion. I'm not getting any kickbacks for saying the stuff that I'm gonna say when I promote this product. So stay around to find out what it is. The first study that I found, and the most recent study I could find about whether or not beards make men look older was a study from 2012. And they looked at European descent men and Samoan men uh, in New Zealand, and they uh, essentially got them to make all these weird faces. So it was bearded men, um, and they said like, you know, look angry, look happy, look sad, and they created this like nice uh, spectrum of faces. And then they asked the men to shave, and they did exactly the same faces. And then they compared the uh, opinions of people of how old they looked from when they were bearded versus when they were cleanly shaven. And they uh, had beards that were about six weeks old. So not like a super long beard like mine, but probably just a little bit off the chin. Um, and yeah, it was a, a really sort of uh, well-designed study. And they actually sliced up the face into different things to create different composites. And uh, what they found was that people actually saw the bearded faces as older, significantly older, um, and by significant, it's just outside of the error bars of the study. And uh, the results look like this. So you can see that uh, for each sort of subsection of people, male and female, that are looking at um, different uh, faces with and without beards, the black bars are higher, which means that they are on average looking at people with beards as slightly older. So that's the first study, and uh, I think it's pretty definitive and it matches up with all of my kind of anecdotal evidence of uh, how people perceive beards. And uh, yeah, there we are, science has got your back. There's another study as well, but first I wanna tell you about an awesome product that my friend has launched that I think you need to know about. Now, I am really excited to share this with you. My friend has just launched her very own shoe brand business called Kennedy Parker, and you can check it out at kennedyparker.store. Now, I'm not getting any kickbacks or monetary uh, rewards for promoting this. I just really like connecting awesome products being made by awesome people with you. So I said, let me talk about it on the channel. So she's given me a pair here to uh, share with you today. And these boots and the other shoes in her range are everything I look for. Now I'm not into like, fast fashion, I don't care for the latest thing. I want shoes that last and that I can wear for years. And that is exactly what these are. They've got like a full grain leather upper, which I absolutely love and adore. Um, and you can replace the soles, which is so important. So they're like a lifetime shoe and that's what's very important to me. Um, now the thing is, when I've looked for shoes of this quality in the past, I have paid more than, let's have a look, probably about four or $500 for shoes of this quality and these shoes are not that expensive and that's because over the years of working in the shoe business she's built up the right relationships and the shoes are going from uh, factory straight to you. So there's no overheads, there's no middlemen, you get all the savings. And I have found my new favorite brand of shoes. And that's because she has actually listened to customers and what they want. And uh, I think these will be your favorite brand of shoe too. The great thing is, for viewers of this channel and readers of my blog, she's given a massive 25% off if you use the code Beard Pro 25. Now that is a limited offer and uh, I think it's so generous. So I don't know how long that's gonna be around for, but um, go check out the store. I'll put a link in the description and I think you've just found your new favorite shoes. The second scientific study that I could find in the peer reviewed literature was a study where they took eight 22 to 25 year olds and they had them shave at different kind of uh, styles. So they got eight bearded men and they told them to have a full beard, a goatee, a mustache and clean shaven. And they looked then at the perceived age of each of those people at each of those different phases of shaving their beard. Now, here's the thing. 
I don't, I, you know, I've got a PhD in chemistry. I love science, I, I trust it, but I'm not sure I would shave off my beard for this study. You know, going from this to clean shaven for a study, those men are heroes of the scientific world, if you ask me. Um, but here we are. This is what this 1973 study found. It was all these things, I'm gonna have to read them because there's a load of them, but bearded people, and this makes me feel awesome, and if you've got a beard, this should also uh, brighten up your day a little bit. But this is what they found. They found that men were more masculine, mature, good-looking, dominant, self-confident, courageous, liberal, non-conforming, industrious, and, importantly for this video, older. What an awesome set of characteristics, unless you're incredibly conservative and you don't want to be uh, identified as a liberal. But um, there we are. So that 1973 study was one of the earliest ones I could find that says, yes, in fact, if you've got a beard, it can make you look older. And now, in my personal experience, I have found that having a beard um, certainly changes the way people perceive you. Like, when I'm walking down the street, I quite often, you know, hear people talk about the man. And, you know, I'm a balding man, so that doesn't necessarily, you know, it's not conclusive like the science, I guess. But uh, as I'm getting more and more grey hairs, I definitely feel as if uh, my perceived age is growing faster than my, like, time-based age. So, you know, I'm starting to get a few grey around here and I wonder if in the next few years I'll end up with sort of like massive streaks here but let me know in the comments have you noticed a significant change in your beard which therefore has sort of have, has changed people's perceptions of you and your age and your wisdom because that's the other thing I think society looks at people with beards and uh, you know in the past all of the old men the old wise men had beards and uh, the study and the science seems to back up the fact that people see people with beards as sort of wise older um, and more attractive which is great from the that 1973 study um, and yeah I think as well when I have taken less care of my beard throughout the day like the scruffiness is increased I definitely feel as if you know eh, my age is perceived as higher or I, I perceive my age as a little bit higher so a scruffy unkept beard I think looks older than like a really nice defined beard. So I try to keep my beard as the lines kind of nice and flat on the side and a nice size shape down the bottom with a slight point like a ducktail almost just here. So that's the style that I've been trying to maintain and I think uh, if your beard gets, you know, pretty scraggly and, and unkempt that that's when it can look older than it really is, um, especially because, you know, a lot of people are really good dressers when they're younger. You know, I see some, some young people and I'm like, oh my God, you are a snappy dresser. Um, and that's just not me. But it is now with my new Kennedy Parker shoes. Thanks very much, Jane Ann. Um, my new favorite shoes by far, absolutely. So comfortable, I love it. Um, and that come, kind of comes down to like the full package. You know, I think that, if you just isolate someone's face in these scientific studies, you know, if you can only see from here up, clearly the most dominant thing on their face is the beard. And the beard is going to dictate ultimately what people see and what people perceive. But when you look at a head on a person, which is primarily how they're viewed, I think in fact the full kind of package is what actually determines people's perceived age. Like I've got some friends who are incredibly snazzy dresses and I envy them for their dress style. But in fact, they look younger because they've sort of just, I don't know, they, they dress to the times, you know, that they really care about their, their look and the, the way their outfits are. And I think that's what can also make people look younger. So if you've got a beard and you're only showing people your head, then of course you're gonna look older, I think. But people don't see people like that. It's a full package thing. So I think that in my experience, when I see people that are snazzy dresses or look, you know, and, and sort of take a little bit of care about how they look, the full package reduces their age. So it's not the end of the world. If you've got a beard and you wanna look younger, maybe that's the key to, uh, to for ever looking youthful. So there we are, that's my experience, there's the science. Let me know in the comments what you think. Does having a beard make you look older?
So there we have it. There's the science and my experience about whether or not a beard makes you look older. Let me know in the comments what you would add to that list. But also, go check out kennedyparker.store. I'll put a link in the description. There is a 25% discount on the shoes for a limited time only. It's going to be incredible. If you're watching this video like ages in the future, I am certain there's an offer for viewers of this channel because uh, it's going to be an ongoing relationship, I'm sure. So make sure you, ch you check the link, even if this video is like two years old at this time. Um, and yes, I found my new favorite shoes and I'm sure you have just heard about them too. So go check out all of their range. And uh, until the next time, happy beard growing and I shall see you in the next video.